British elementary school is essentially Key Stage 1, which is year 1 and year 2. The kids are from 5 to 8 years old, depending on their nationality, and then when they finish kindergarten. It's the place where the foundation of the future is happening. That we're preparing the kids to be the best they can be and achieve the goals that British School of Sofia set for our students. And that's to be successful, thoughtful, creative, brave and searching young person. The British Elementary School, as part of the British School of Sofia, is following the British curriculum. We're using the Cambridge curriculum for English, Maths and Science. And for the social studies, we use the international primary curriculum, which is um, topic-based learning, where while discovering everything uh, about one topic, for example, green fingers and plants, the kids learn history, geography, uh, biology, chemistry, and everything else. In the end of each topic, they make a project and they practice their presentation skills. The field trips and the different kinds of learning are essential not only for IPC. They're exploring new places, new ways of knowing, asking questions and finding ways how to answer them is part of our thinking bit of the school because we are also a thinking school. So inquiring and looking for answers is essential and sometimes the answers are in a botanical garden, in a museum, in the forest or in the park. So we have to go. Our school is student-led. The students is the center and kids find it exciting and they love coming to school just because they know that they are the masters of this world. The teachers are facilitators. They arrange everything that the kids will need to learn, but they are the engine of their learning. In grade three and four, we studied the Cambridge primary curriculum, and for third graders, it is the first year they take uh, progression tests in the end of the school year. Uh, from third grade on, we continue to fifth grade with progression tests. We also uh, have the uh, IPC, uh, International Primary Curriculum, which uh, is a topic-based curriculum with uh, many different uh, topics that are very interactive and uh, exciting for the children. Well, as you can see all around us, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, displays. We have an uh, engaging environment through uh, different games. We have teamwork. Um, we also absorb children in challenge. And I believe that uh, student-centered working is in the core of the learning process that makes it really exciting for them. I believe that parents should choose British School of Sofia because it um, instills in children intelligent behaviors, habits of mind, which lead to success in later in life. We use BSS keys, which are exactly this learning behaviors, and I believe that they are a lifelong um, skill for the children. In upper primary and secondary one, which is the middle school really, is where the things start getting really serious in academic terms. This is uh, what I mean by this, that uh, we've got external examinations that the students take in grade 6 and grade 8, and the students gradually get used to the idea that not only their teachers are going to assess them, but uh, also external examiners are going to see what they do, and that's actually invaluable. But it's happening through such a creative and experiential way that um, they are not getting stressed. What I mean is that there is um, not such a pushy environment where the students are only worried about their tests and about their external examinations, but actually by their achievements and their daily and monthly progress. What we say is that the main subject in upper primary and middle school is English, Maths and Science, but we also have Geography, History, we've got PE and Art, and 
really there is not a definite line between them there are so many um, topics that are actually covering all of them or part of them that the students sometimes are asking you questions in an English class for example is this a geography class or is this a PSHE class personal social and educational class that um, actually this is like uh, mostly a concept what we are working on with not particular subjects and they're getting used to many um, concepts big concepts and many concepts that are connected to certain subjects but also they are connected to other ones. The upper primary use the Cambridge curriculum because it's so flexible, it covers the main ideas that are covered internationally and it also, our flexible approach to the education actually um, is really something that we are really um, appreciating in the whole program. We are also following the IPC where learning is divided into different topics um, but they are as I said, it's so experiential that the students actually discover all they need to know in their own way, whether this is going to be experiment that they're going to do outside, whether it's going to be a research that they're going to do online, or they, if there is going to be a guided learning through a teacher, this is actually defined by the student's own way of learning. So really, this is, this is really, really um, something that's individual for all students, and this is what we appreciate in both programs. We've got a variety of ways of doing this. It depends on the personality of the teacher, of course. All of our teachers, they're really approachable, but the way that they choose uh, their students to learn is actually what the students choose for themselves. Because as I already mentioned, different students study and learn in different ways. Some prefer to do their own experiments outside. Some prefer to do their own research on the internet and compare different sources. Some prefer the teacher to guide them. Some prefer to learn from uh, other students. This is all defined by their students only and this is how actually the students really um, come interested to school. If you see your child coming back with blinking eyes every day, this is um, enough reason for you to do this. But if we have to be really formal and describe in a really formal way, we're really uh, flexible in terms of teaching, in terms of learning, in terms of our approach to children, and also in terms of approach to our parents coming from different cultures. British School of Sofia in three words, safe, colorful, and thinking. Thinking, innovative, and creative. Experiential, progressive, and contemporary. <laughs>